blessed to you when people insult you, persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me, rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you, I was in fourteen days of fasting and prayer, personally I did not want to fast but the Lord came to me and instructed me to fast even if I was not willing, and many things happened during the fourteen days of fasting and prayer, while I was in the middle of fasting the Lord came to visit me. He asked me, Mamaji Borha, do you know that there is a demon who is responsible of false accusation, have you heard about it, I said Lord I think it when someone is lying about you on thing you don't know, the Lord said your answer is right and wrong, the Lord said to, D Borha, it is not because you have become a child of God that everything will be alright all the time in your life, you should not think that way, my daughter, you have to understand that my way is tough and not easy. I often hear you my children talking about carrying your cross daily, in truth you my children don't like to bear the pain of the cross that you want carry, I want to reveal to you and make you understand that they are wicked spirit and legions that come to falsely accuse my people, even if you are innocent these demon will come to falsely accuse you, Deborah, as you are serving me and testifying the great thing I have accomplished in your life, not everybody that will clap for you you will encounter false accusation, now my daughter Deborah, will you be able to endure and bear these accusation when they come in your life? Because I know your heart and your personality, you don't have patience, temperance and long suffering, I said Lord I was short temper before you rebuke me and before you broke me, but now I have made a lot of effort to endure provocation without reacting, the Lord said to me, to have a big heart means to be able to bear injury and to endure even if you feel the pain in your heart, you may be falsely accused but you have to endure and put up with the pain without reacting, Deborah, do you know that I your Lord Jesus Christ did endure a lot when I was in the world, I said Lord I know that you suffered, he said, do you know that many people went to make false accusation against me to Ponce Pilate, but I endure in my heart their false accusation without defending myself and seeking justification, in fact I kept quiet, and this is the key, I was accused of many things during my arrest and crucifixion, people accuse me saying that I am stopping the Jew from paying tax yet I never encourage the Jew to rebel against the Roman authority, the Lord said when you claim to be a believer and you don't face these persecution and accusation you are not really a child of God, when I was falsely accused, and I felt pain in my heart, my daughter, I could have called the army of the kingdom of heaven to come down to earth and destroy them, and they would have come, but I did not, I could have summoned fire to come down from heaven and consume them, but I did want to do it, I could have called wild beasts to come and devour them like in the time of Elisha, but I did not do, simply because I was supposed to overcome the principality of false accusation in silence without reacting to provocation, my daughter if you overcome the demon of false accusation in silence without defending yourself, in your life you will never be defeated by any other demon, because there is no other demon greater than him before the children of God, to be falsely accused is quite a tough battle. My daughter if you defeat this demon of false accusation and God does not bless you with the thing you have been asking him you can call him a liar. Do you know that when you endure false accusation without reacting and defending yourself, you will be blessed by God, you must learn to exercise long suffering. The Lord continued to speak and said, but don't play hypocrisy when you are quiet not responding to provocation, otherwise you will react in time. The Lord reveal that the legion of accusing spirit that accuse the saints days and night, are under the leadership of this tremendous principality of accusation, who is blocking the blessing of many believer when they react to provocation with anger, when you are born again these legion of accusing spirit would be accusing you before God every time you fall in sin, but it's when you come out of sinful life that's when they would possess people to fabricate lies against you. This demon accuse the believer who live in sin before the Lord, and when the believer announce sin and begin to live a life of renunciation this demon will possess people to wrongly accuse him, this is his strategy of false accusation against those who live in purity, Deborah, when these things happen in your life you must endure, remember not to defend yourself, don't be disappointed just endure, and keep quiet, 
The Lord spoke that way because whenever someone speak against me I don't tolerate to be treated unfairly, to be humiliated and dominated, but the Lord was telling me to change and learn to endure pain without reacting, brethren, if you have a character that you are failing to change the Lord will intervene to break you before you become his instrument, the Lord said, daughter, I accepted the accusation of the Jew and kept quiet, I knew that God was my judge, Exodus 14 14 the Lord himself will fight for you, just stay calm, so my daughter, if people accuse you wrongly, don't defend yourself because I never defended myself, I just stay calm, don't try to justify yourself when you are being wrongly accused but give thanks to the Lord, the Lord said to me, you know that if you bear wrong accusation without defending yourself in the end God himself will justify you and bless you, there are accusation where you know that you are guilty and you are facing the consequences of your action, but I am talking about when you knows that you are innocent, it is painful to be wrongly accused of things you know you have not done, it always hurt painfully, I know that people with your kind of temper will always try to defend themselves when they are wrongly accused, I said Lord this time around if something like that happened to me I will not defend myself I will keep quiet, I remember when I defeated this demon, the Lord said when these accusation and abuse come again just stay quiet, don't say anything, for this is how you will become an overcomer, for when you start defending yourself and giving explanation, God will not fight for you, so don't take God place, this battle against the prince of hell is a major step in Christian walk and these steps and test will not end for you must be perfected and reach perfection, unless you master your temper you will not pass this test, you will be taken to the limit and your heart will bleed but you must endure and be silent, when you have reached that level where you suffer in silence without reacting you have defeated this prince of hell and you have become an overcomer, warn my children because they will face him, he will possess people to invent lies and falsely accuse them people will prefer to believe the lies against them instead of believing them, even if they are innocent, tell them to keep quiet, this demon want God children to react in anger and bitterness so that they will capture their word and accuse them more and stop their blessing, but if you manage keep quiet, you will conquer him, and earn the title of overcomer, to the one who overcomes, and the overcomer is the one who remains steadfast through trials and false accusation, holding fast to faith in Christ until the end, to the one who overcome I will grant the right to sit with me on my throne, just as I overcame and sat down with my father on his throne, to him who overcomes, I will give to eat from the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God.